I'm pretty sure that all the tannic sink. Titanic? Whatever this tannic is, and that tannic, and every tannic. <laughs> Hello Buccaneers, we are in San Pedro and we are going to show you the fun things you can do here. And our first stop is the Point Furman Lighthouse. Built in 1874, this landmark was the first navigational light into the San Pedro Bay. Today we'll be going on a free guided tour. The docent asked us what we think is the most important resource of the lighthouse and brother answered correctly. Yeah, give me five! Water. Water is stored in these cisterns, which can hold 10,000 gallons. This doesn't look like a traditional lighthouse because it was done in stick style and early Victorian architectural design. Now we're going inside the building. Unfortunately, photography is not allowed during this portion of the tour. But we were allowed to film the view from the top of the lighthouse. We had so much fun here. Our next stop is the USS Iowa. This is the West Coast's only battleship. It hosted three U.S. presidents during her service as a symbol of democracy. It features six decks of wood and steel and numerous exhibits. We're going to check out the Lost at Sea exhibit. This exhibition showcases the explorations of Dr. Robert Ballard, known over the world for his discovery of the RMS Titanic. I'm pretty sure that all the tannic sink. Titanic? Whatever this tannic is, and that tannic, and every tannic. <laughs> the RMS Lusitania was sunk by the Germans during World War I. There are many cool model ships here. Now we're learning about war in the Pacific. Brother is playing with an interactive display. This section is on PT-109, the would-be President John F. Kennedy's boat. There's even a G.I. Joe action figure made of him. There are also many other wrecks that you can explore here. Now we're going to go on a scavenger hunt around the ship. The dog's name is Vicky. And we have to mark down where we spot him. In 1943, Vicky was brought aboard by Captain McCree to help keep morale of the crew up. Vicky became an apprentice mascot and was outfitted in a special sailor suit. All the necessary sailor's paperwork was also completed. After we found all the Vickies, we turned in our activity sheet and received a sticker and a dog tag. We had so much fun at the USS Iowa. Now we are eating dinner at San Pedro Fish Market. This is a family owned and operated restaurant that started selling fresh seafood to the locals in the Port Town fishing community since 1957. They are known for their world's famous shrimp tray and that's what we're going to try today. We start out by picking our own seafood from their fresh case and everything is priced per pound. I'll take some scallops please. Next, we're bringing our choice to the kitchen to get them cooked. Then we're waiting for them to pay just while we're waiting at the seaside deck, which can seat 2,000 people. It's buzzing! Let's go pick up our food. That's our shrimp tray, some fried calamari, and fish and chips. We're having a shrimp tray which comes with shrimp, scallop, vegetables, and garlic bread. This is so much food. My favorite part of the meal was the scallop and the garlic bread. I like the scallop because it was really, really juicy. And I like the garlic bread because, well, I like garlic bread. Now I have a fish and chips. Brother is trying some calamari too. Uh, 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 uh. The atmosphere feels like you're in Mexico and there's like the music band playing. delicious meal, we enjoyed the view of the harbor and witnessed a feeding frenzy. 
We had so much fun in San Pedro. Please hit the subscribe button and remember to look for your own adventure.